here's a great idea that I love to engage your employees while building a better culture, a culture pitch day. Maybe every quarter, maybe twice a year, maybe once a year, hold a culture pitch event where employees or teams can pitch their ideas for a better workplace culture and make it fun. Turn it into your version of if you're Canadian, the Dragon's Den, or if you're American, Shark Tank, where you make it fun, where you have a panel asking questions and probing and create some expectations that people are going to have to do their homework and create a very world-class presentation for you. You can have employees vote on the ideas and you could award prizes for the most creative or fun ideas. So not only is it a great way to engage employees, but it's also, of course, a phenomenal way to improve your culture. I've got 15 more ideas on how you can ramp up your workplace culture. Let's energize your workplace. Mike's here for some serious fun. All right, so 15 more ideas to help you ramp up your workplace culture. Create a culture squad. Don't call it a committee because committees are where ideas go to die and nobody wants to serve on a committee. It's a culture squad, a culture team. Make it fun. Invite people from all across your organization. Make sure it is across departments, across teams, and at every level in your organization. A dedicated group of folks who can be your culture champions, who can work on initiatives to help you ramp up your culture. Do, as many organizations do, a culture boot camp re-energizer day. Once every six months, once a year at least, where people get together, where you celebrate your culture, and where you recommit to your culture and recommit to the direction that you want to move your culture towards. Create monthly culture themes where everybody focuses on a different aspect of your culture for one month. It gives everybody a rallying point, something that they can focus more intentionally on for a one month period. Create a three in three challenge. Challenge teams to come up with three culture ideas that they can implement within the span of three months. Hold the values blitz kind of like the monthly themes, only this is more focused on your values and on a weekly basis. So here's how it works. One value per week, you have everybody just live that value ridiculously out loud. So the needle is gonna go way over here. You maybe can't sustain it here because everybody will get really tired. It might come back here, but for a week, or encourage everybody to just live that value ridiculously out loud for one week, then week two, value two, week three, value three, week four, value four. I think you get the idea. Cycle back for as long as you need to. This can have a dramatic impact on your culture. Use the wheel of change framework to have a good conversation about your culture. This could be done once a quarter, it could be done twice a year, at least once a year. So the wheel of change framework is, is again, very simple, simple works. Hey, what is one thing we need to remember to keep doing consistently? What is one thing we all need to stop doing? And what is one thing we need to start doing? that will help us build a more collaborative, inspiring workplace culture. Open and close your meetings with a culture moment, with a culture story, where you share a story that brings your culture to life. Examples, and the brilliance in doing this is not only are you keeping the culture message alive and talking about your expectations around culture, you can also use this at the same time to turn some of your employees into heroes, into rock stars by celebrating their success for having lived your values lived your cultural norms out loud. Create three rituals or traditions, three rituals or traditions that you can implement that will help you build a stronger workplace culture. Rituals and traditions are so important. They help shape the identity of your workplace and your culture. They give employees something to look forward to and something to reminisce about. So come up with three traditions or rituals that will work for you. If you cruise over to my website, www.mikekerr.com, and in the search box, put in rituals and traditions, you'll find some examples that you could implement in your workplace. They could be dirt simple. It could be a ritual to help you kick off the work week with, or perhaps a Friday afternoon team huddle where you celebrate the three best wins of your week. Just look for something that you can implement that's easy, that maybe is a little fun, something that you want people to embrace in terms of ongoing habits. Send out a question of the week to all your employees. This is just a great way to 
Check the pulse of employees to have a simple framework where you're connecting with your employees, where you're communicating with your employees and getting some feedback with them. So once a week, just one question that you send out over email, you could, you could use SurveyMonkey, you can keep it simple to create surveys, create some of the questions around your culture, but some of them just make them fun as a fun way to engage people. Hey, what's your favorite James Bond movie? What's your dream vacation destination? Questions like that, just to engage your employees in a fun way. Hold daily team huddles as a checkpoint for your team. So many of my clients rave about the power of these as a way to build culture fast. Nobody wants to go to another meeting, so there's no chairs allowed. Standing only, set agenda, same time, same place, short and sweet, typically between five and 10 minutes. Create a contest for teams to come up with the most creative and fun videos that bring your cultural norms to life. Maybe it's a contest to bring your values to life or other cultural norms that you have in your workplace, but in a fun way. Not only do you engage employees then in the process of building your culture, you also can create a finished product that you can share on your website that you can use for onboarding and training purposes forevermore. If you're shifting your culture, then create some milestones, some key milestones. So you need to know what direction you're moving in and the things you want to accomplish, obviously, but then create some milestones around those that you can celebrate. Nothing builds momentum like momentum, I was going to say, which sounds a little crazy, but you know what I mean. You build momentum through celebrating your milestones and you will continue to move in the right direction. Infuse your workplace with more fun. I'm all about the fun. I mean, I'm the author of the humor advantage for goodness sakes. You know I'm all about the fun. As the old saying goes, work made fun gets done. So you want to make sure the whole process of shifting your culture is fun. Create, as some companies have done, a rotating volunteer humor ambassador position or a fun squad that can work on intentionally creating some fun projects, some fun initiatives to infuse that spirit of levity and fun and safe humor into your workplace culture. Typically what works best is to have rotating positions so different people get a chance so people don't get burnt out and do it maybe over a three month or four month period. I'd say four month period so people have a chance to sink their teeth into a few projects for four months without getting burnt out and then you rotate around to other people. And last idea, last but not least, if you want to really shift your culture, whether you're a soul-sucking, fun-sucking workplace that needs to re-energize your culture really badly, or you're already an awesome workplace culture, but you want to prevent being stagnant, you don't want to be complacent, and you want to still shift your culture and keep moving in the right direction, then I'll put the link right here. Look, it's right there. I would invite you to check out my Online Culture Leadership Academy course. It's a membership site slash course. One year you'll get access for at a ridiculously great price, 12 video-based modules. It is full of content. My books are there as eBooks, all sorts of resources to help you implement all these ideas and move your culture in the right direction. So as always, I hope you got some useful, valuable tips here. Please share this with everybody and anybody you need to share this with. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, join our growing community as we talk about inspiring workplaces that rock.